People tell me the craziest things. Well, I'm telling you, fasting cures all. If you know how to fast correctly and you fast, then you can get rid of, talk to your doctor, all this for entertainment purposes, not approved by the FDA. You can get rid of whatever. But I have people say the, the stupidest shit. I'm going to lose a lot of weight. Who gives a fuck? But you guys are so obsessed with how you look and not the outs the inside of what's going on with your body. Y'all don't care about your soul. You don't nurture your soul. You don't care about how, what you're going to take into the next lifetime because they made you believe now we only have one lifetime YOLO. Casting this mass spell on yourself. Oh, YOLO, y'all remember when the white, I mean, the big boys at the top dropped that trend down so that y'all can cast spells on yourself. Cast spells, forecast, castle. Don't play with me. Look at what y'all saying, okay? So all of these things, when you are casting casting spells on yourself yolo yolo okay well next lifetime i don't know what's gonna happen to your soul maybe them niggas gonna have it in bondage from you using the spell of yolo maybe that's how they took it but guess what we come back each lifetime that's why when grandma died oh all of a sudden you pregnant oh auntie died all of a sudden you pregnant we keep passing on we knew that already religion takes a hold of a lot of things not to say that there is no truth in religion itself but religion puts things inside of a box when we already knew, when we already had the freedom to know that we at the past, what? The past over, even when they're speaking with Jesus. So if y'all want to go deep into the, the past over, even when they're speaking with Jesus. So if y'all want to go deep into the religious aspect of it, then y'all need to know it for what it is. When they say the past over and he rose again, that is just like a form of reincarnation. The same thing that's happening to us as we pass on or we go to the repass. We understood that there was no death, either in the Egyptian, the Bible, however you want to put it but now it has just got misconstrued so you want to make sure that you are preparing yourself for the next life as well because the fruits of your labor will pass on the thoughts that you buried the, the traumatizing emotions that you have if you die today or tomorrow with some of them things heavy in your heart heavy in your womb heavy on your chest heavy in your lungs heavy in your kidneys then you're going to pass on so a lot of people say oh we're going to die anyway you want to die on a ventilator <clears throat> That's not, that's not how people should pass on. That's not the rights of passing on or the rights of passage to the next motherfucking time you be here where you die under a ventilator or you die going to dialysis every day or you die on hospice. Mm -hmm.